Aloha, everyone, and welcome back to Multifamily Live. Super excited about today's podcast. We are here with my friend, James Little. James Little has been a part of my life, of Jason's life, for a while. And he was so enthusiastic, so down with coming on the show for Foundation Fridays. So I am excited to introduce him to you. James is the visionary and founding partner of Legacy Investment Team, an investment group focused on leaving a legacy. His vision is to build a better future for investors, tenants, employees, and almost most importantly, communities. James is an active real estate syndicator and real estate investor. He is also a member of the Seven Figure Multifamily Mastermind. He is a founding member of Legacy Investment Foundation, which we are going to dig into, a nonprofit organization funded by the Legacy Investment Team. This foundation provides financial support to many different local, national, and global charitable causes. But you all don't want to listen to my voice. You would rather hear from James. So James, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. Excited. It is so good to have you. So this is all about foundations and I do want to get back to the foundation that you and your company have started. But first Mm -hmm. I want to learn about the foundations of James Little. What Mm -hmm. are some of the foundational structures of who who you are? How Mm -hmm. did you get started in real estate? And let's just take it from there. Sure. So my, obviously my, my foundation starts with my family. Like most people, um, I have two sons who are married. I have five grandchildren. So it's so important for me to be able to, to leave something for them, you know, that they can be proud of and that they can continue to build on after I'm long gone. Um, we started our real estate in, Uh, a few years ago in buying short-term rentals. So we had some short-term rentals, we sold those, and I was gonna continue down that path until I I was introduced to the multifamily space. And then I was like, wow, like I could do so much more on a bigger scale if I just think bigger. And so that's where I started, uh, you know, a a little over a year ago. Uh, and, And so, yeah. Thank you for laying the foundations for us. So within large multifamily, where Mm -hmm. is your team now? Like describe your team, describe your portfolio. I want to know where you, where you are right now. So at the moment we have, um, two partners. I have two partners in legacy investment team, Josh Campbell and Josh Little. And, um, we are continuing to grow our business. We're, we're pretty um, in the infancy stages still. Um, we've been building a, a strong foundation uh, with relationships, all of the business practices, the training, um, and, and working with investors to start educating them on what we're doing and the opportunities and how that works for them. Talk so, about, because sorry yeah. to interrupt you, but you know mm-hmm. how big I am on relationships. Mm-hmm. So I want to hear about how you are, and this is for audience members. If you're listening to this, listen in because James Little is fantastic about establishing relationships. And I fully believe relationships equal partnerships. So what are you mm-hmm. doing to create those relationships? So the first thing you have to do is just talk to everybody about what you're doing and let them know this is what I'm doing. This is who I am. This is what I want to accomplish. And I think there's so many people out there who they, they have done the right things. They've put aside money in savings or 401ks or, or other places. And, and they just, they think that's the right thing and it's not wrong, but they don't know that there are bigger, um, bigger things that they can be involved in. So for me, it's like, I want to share with people how, they can really grow their investments, how they can really be a part of owning a property that they can drive by and, 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 and be proud that I'm a part owner in that property right there. Mm-hmm. I'm a part owner in that, that apartment complex. Mm-hmm. And it used to be this sketchy part of town, but now it's turned into this vibrant place where people are happy to live and it's safe. And, you know, and, and I was a part of that. And not only that, but I'm getting some returns, 
you know, in addition to that. So I think there's just, people don't know that they can be a part of something like that. And um, so for me, I get excited about being able to share that with people and, and show them how they can be a part of that as well. So, so I I mentioned it in your, in your intro, but what are some of some ways that you are showing people how this exists or showing people that this exists in general? Most people Mm -hmm. don't know that they can be a part of a syndication. So how are you showing people? So we have a podcast that we share with, and we're trying to start educating people. Uh, Mm -hmm. We have newsletters that we send out, uh, talking about different things that we're doing, Um, You know, of course, social media is a big platform that we use. Um, Our church organization is where I build a lot of relationships because we we have been very involved in our church um, for a lot of years. So we have strong relationships there. And so for me, it's about just making contact, um, you know, with those people on a regular basis, um, you know, um, and, and just sharing sharing what we're doing and um, listening to them. I mean, uh, sometimes people want a return and it may not be uh, in a long, in a long journey. So what I've tried to do is connect them with other people I know that may be doing a flip right now and they could get involved with them and get a fast return. So it's not just about people investing with me. It's about connecting those people and understanding what they're looking for and connecting them with the right people. Um, And, you know, I don't I may not have a deal going at the moment, but I can share with them. I can connect them with another person that I know that is trustworthy that they could invest with. So. So I love I love the fact that you are creating these partnerships that provide you are also really good at establishing partnerships can we dig into that a little bit Mm -hmm. talk about the partnerships that you have created and then some Mm -hmm. of the foundational partnerships that you have currently so for me uh, what was so eye-opening was uh, attending a multi-family live event in 2022 because at that point I thought, man, this is, I'm, I was sitting in a room of all of these people who are doing big and great things. And I thought, well, this is so much bigger than me. Like I could never do this. And as I continued to stay there for the, uh, the duration of the conference, I began to realize partnerships are the key to being successful. It doesn't have to just be all me. I don't have to have all the tools. I don't have to have all of the resources. What I need to do is take what I have and partner that with another person. And together we can do some really big things. And so that really was the tipping point for me where I knew that the multifamily space was the journey that I wanted to go on. And so I just began to dig in and and, and really start trying to build relationships within that, that mastermind um, of you know, hey, this is maybe where I'm not strong. And I I see this person is really successful in that area. So I can reach out to them and say, hey, these are the strengths. These are the things that I can bring to the table. Let's see if we can't work together to make some some things happen. So for us, we've really started trying to do that. Um, You know, and uh, yeah, I mean, just breeding those relationships and, sh- and and letting people know this is who I am and learning who they are and knowing that we can partner together. We can work and make something great. Let's dig into that a little bit. Let's dig into okay. the foundation of who you are. We talked about mm-hmm. how you got into real estate. We talked about a little bit about where you are in real estate and how partnerships and relationships have affect you thus far but i really i really want to dig into the heart of you mr james little because mm-hmm. i have known you for the past over a year now mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. a lot of the conversations we have and you mentioned it you mentioned a little bit about your faith and a little bit about the foundation that you mm-hmm. have started can we dig mm-hmm. into both of those yeah so for me um building wealth is important but it's important because my wife and i have always been givers we've always given we've always looked for opportunities where we see people in need or 
And, and so for us, it's always like, we wish we could do more. We wish we could do it on a bigger scale. And so the, the only way you can do that is to build wealth. And so if I have more resources, then I have more resources that I can give and share. Mm -hmm. So specifically for legacy investment team, what we do, any income that comes into our business, whether it's through asset management fees or um, sales of properties or any type of profit that comes in, we set aside 10% of that that we give away to worthy causes. We put that into a foundation that we are, um, there's an independent board who will review the requests that come in. So it's not just us, there's an independent review that will take place and they make a decision on where those funds go and how we can have the greatest impact. So that is very important to us. Um, you know, and, and two, for our church, um, you know, oftentimes you can have a person who is in a small town in a small, you know, uh, in an impoverished area, but they may have some resources that they've saved and they may want to do some things there. Well, if they can get um, some good returns on an investment that I introduced them to, then they can also take some of a percentage of their returns and be able to continue to give to their small community. So in that way, we can exponentially begin to help other people and show them how they can use and give with the returns that they're, um, they're receiving from investment. So to me, it, it not only are they getting returns that they can pocket, but they could also take a portion of that because that's important to people mm -hmm. um, is I want to give more. And so we can show them, well, let us help you make more on what your, your returns are. So you can take some of that and give more. Um, I love so. how you give people the permission to succeed. Like mm -hmm. it is okay for you to succeed. It is okay for you to make money. It is mm -hmm. okay for you to make more because in our world, that allows us to give more. Exactly. The more we make, the more we're able to give. Can you expound on that? Mm -hmm. So for me, I know this was an eye-opening moment for me. When I was at Multifamily Live in 2022, I know I was sitting there um, listening and I felt challenged by God in that moment to stop thinking so small. Um, and, you know, I felt like God spoke to me and said, listen, you need to think bigger because I want to use you to do some big things. And unless you really stretch your mind and unless you stop thinking so small, I can't use you uh, in the way that I want to. And there are people who are in this world who don't have the tools and the resources you have, and they are depending on you to be successful because you're going to give and you're going to make an impact. And so that really challenged me to uh, stop thinking so small. And I knew I didn't have all the answers, but I know I'm surrounded with people who do have those answers and I can connect with them and together we can figure it out. So this is some of the foundational stuff I really want to talk with you about because I mm -hmm. fully believe that there's a path that God has set us on. There's certain people that he's put into our path for a certain reason. And mm -hmm. I would love to further on this conversation with you. What are your thoughts about the path that you have been set on and the people that you have been brought to not only learn from, but to teach? Mm -hmm. So that is so important to me. Um, you know, I, I know I, I kind of grew up in the era where you got a job, you worked mm -hmm. for somebody else and you made a living, you took care of your family those types of things. And so I know that um, I've invested a lot of time in companies through the years where I have built their company and it, it's, it's a typical corporate brand. They're just there for the profit and the people really didn't mean anything to them. It was just more of a, a building block. And so for me, I'm like, yes, I can, I can grow a successful business and it can be profitable, but I can do it the right way. Mm -hmm. And I can take care of people along the way. I can educate them. I can bring them up with me. Um, another, another big thing that's very important to me is, you know, the homeless problem is becoming more and more of an issue as, as uh, homes become more, less affordable. 
And so for me, I feel like it's important to be involved on the other, on, on trying to help be a solution to that in my community. So we do volunteer, we do um, things in our community with the homeless ministry that, um, because I feel like it's important for me to be a part of the solution, you know, yeah. not just a part of, uh, of growing real estate, but I need to also be a part of the solution to the other side of that as well. So, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about the foundation right now, mm -hmm. what you're doing within that ministry, you're mm -hmm. helping out that ministry in mm -hmm. a perfect world where mm -hmm. you're walking this perfect path that you've been set on. Where does this path take you within that ministry? So for me, um, I know the current need that they are working on currently is building a new facility because currently they're renting a facility mm -hmm. in the next couple of years. That facility is going to be torn down due to growth in our city, mm -hmm. um, which is great. I love the growth. I want to be a part of that growth. And so, but it's created a challenge for them. So for me personally, I have been trying to help them raise capital for their new building that they're going to, they're going to own. And they will have apartments so they can actually house people when they're in need in a temporary situation until they can help find them permanent housing. So for me, that is a big priority um, going forward. And, um, you know, just being a part of that. Um, always helping, you know, always finding yeah. a way to find solutions, creating legacy for other people. Let's talk a little bit before I let you go. Let's talk a little mm -hmm. bit about that term legacy and mm -hmm. why did you term that why did you use that that word and i love that mm -hmm. word mm -hmm. but why what is your why for using that word as a part of your business and as part of your foundation so for us when we were when we were looking at the name for our business um we were it, we spent a lot of time on each each word in the name of our business and so legacy is not only that we're, we're leaving a legacy for our family, that's, that's, uh, should be a drive for most people. And I think it is, um, you know, we want to leave that legacy for our family, but not only that, we want to leave a legacy for, um, others. We want to show others how they can leave a legacy for their family by being a part of us. Um, we want to leave a legacy in the communities that we own properties in. We want to make that better for the tenants. So it's bigger than just us. It's, it's, mm -hmm. we want to leave a, a bigger legacy. And then investment is, is investing in those communities, investing in those tenants, investing in our employees, investing in the people that we're, that we touch on a daily basis and knowing that we do all of that as a team. It's not just about me. It's not just about, um, our company. It's about how we can be a team player in all aspects of everything that we do. So that really sums up who we are. And that is our vision of, of what we want to, to, to do. I love it. I love your commitment to creating relationships, turning those relationships into partnerships, creating mm -hmm. legacy for others, creating homes for others, and then taking it one step further and just opening up and teaching others what it is you do in real estate. If anyone mm -hmm. wants to actually find out about your podcast, where can they find your podcast? So um, it's the Legacy Investment Team podcast. Um, we're on all of the, the podcast sources, so you can find that there. Um, mm -hmm. Our website is also LegacyInvestmentTeam.com. Uh, we can be found there and on social media. We are on social media as well. Fantastic. And before I let you go, what is one foundational aspect that you fully believe and are fully behind that people in real estate, or not even just in real estate, any entrepreneur, anyone out there, what's one foundational thing that you can leave with them before we leave this podcast? I think for me, the greatest thing is being part of a mastermind, being part of a family, a community of people that are like-minded, that have like passions, that have like values, um, and that are, are further along. I, I believe that we should surround ourselves with people that are further along than us. 
and we should be following after them, but we should also be bringing other people along with us as we're on our journey. And a mastermind is a great place to do that. And so um, the people there who hold you accountable, who challenge you, who encourage you, the support of that is amazing. So it's, it's, it's hard for me to believe that you can be as successful in business without having those types of people surrounding you. So to me, that would be the very first step is to get a community. And I agree. For everyone that's listening today, find a community, whether it's with Seven Figure Multifamily or some other community that you just see and want to learn from. If real estate, if multifamily is the way that you want to go, you need that community that's there to uplift you. So take it from Mr. James Little, find (laughs) that community, find that foundation and grow from there. James, thank you so very much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yay. And for everyone else that's listening, if you loved what you heard, please rate, review, and subscribe. And please look up Legacy Investment Team Podcast and look them up on Google. Go to their website and find out more about what James and his team does. Thank you so very much. So much aloha, so much love, so much peace in your day. And have a great one. Aloha.